Hi guys, Chess.com have just released a bunch of new bots and you know what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take them on. So these are the billionaire edition bots. So I, I don't know what Chess.com's thinking. I mean, last week we had the Halloween zombie bots. You'd think they'd change it up for the next series of bots, but we, we've, we've just got more zombies. So for starting off, we've got... Uh, Warren Buffett, Baron Wuffett, a <laughs> 600 ELO bot, a close friend of Mr. Bill Gates. Uh, Mr. Wuffett is not as strong a player as his friend. However, give him the right pawns and he sure will turn them into powerful queens because he's an investor and uh, money compounds over time. All right, let's get into a challenge match with uh, Warren. Okay. So... Yeah, Warren Buffett, like the best investor ever, or one of them. And we, he's playing with Scandinavians, so we take. And I've, no, I've never played these bots before, guys. This is just my reaction. So, And that already is not a great move. So he's got a bit of Nelson in him, this bot. He's just giving a check, even though it's not that good. Uh, so I guess this and then the knight can hit the queen. Gain a little tempo in the future. Now, this is a 600 bot. And normally the bots, are, I'd say, are about 200 ELO overrated. So it's probably a 400. And these special edition bots, I'd say, are about another 100 overrated. So I'd say this is probably like a 300 rated bot. So I'm actually surprised he's moved his queen there. But uh, we, we're going to keep developing. Maybe we can hit the queen again. See if he defends it this time. Yeah, this is what I mean, guys. These, these bots just... You know, I mean, I guess, I guess chess.com's thinking that it's good for beginners to give them some like confidence that they've beaten a 600 or a 1500 or whatever the bot is. But I always think it's a bit disrespectful to the actual 600 rated players who would, you know, they've got some mistakes in their game, but they wouldn't just hang a queen like that. Like, and you know, every 600 would see this because the bishops just moved there. So you'd think, oh, like they would think that they, they would take. I'm, I'm trying to, I tried to drag it. I tried to capture my own bishop there. That's how, that's how frustrating it is. Uh, seeing these bots make bad moves. All right, so I guess we just retreat the bishop and get castled. Got to be aware they've got some open lines with the rook. So uh, can't be getting mated on this square here on g2. And I mean, we're up a queen, so trades favor us. So I guess we just want to open up the position, really. This is a trade. Let's go for that one. Also, just opening up my queen. Now, maybe we can push. I might not do this in a game because their rook is opposite my queen. So thematically, you probably don't want to open up the center towards their rook. You know, there could be some sort of hit on your queen there. Could be scary. But actually, the fact that their rook's undefended the rooks are not connected. Makes me more inclined to want to, to open it up. Because uh, the queen can actually attack the rook there. Uh, so let's take. Now this is sort of pinned. I mean, we can, we can take with a pawn. But we can also lodge the bishop in here. After pawn takes. Probably take him with the pawns a little bit safer. And now... I mean, this, I guess we just mobilize all the pieces into the attack. Uh, slide back, and we're coming in with the knights now, and surely we should be able to clean this one up, guys. Uh, defend the knight somehow. I guess, like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Oh no, that's a horrible move. That's a, I just wanted to play because it, it looked funny, but that's an absolutely horrible move. Rook takes knight. We take. Oh no, they cannot win the queen. <laughs> this, this, they can't win the queen because our new queen is pinning their rook. <laughs> that's quite funny. Um, so I guess we take this now. And. Uh, the stakes don't feel too high for me, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it, it just... You know, coming from the Rhodes 2000 playlist and then playing these bots. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't feel like too much is on the line here. I mean, let's just see if the Rook takes. 
<laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you, how am I supposed to get, you know, how's it going to get me going when there's, there's no danger? Like, you know, let, let's hang my queen. Like, you know what I mean, guys? Like, how do, how do I get, how do I get into this game? I guess I'll take the rook. So, <laughs> I mean, Baron Wuffet had a clear plan there to attack the bishop. And then, due to his age, poor old uh, Warren, short-term memory loss, and, uh, yeah, forgot about the old, the old bishop hanging. Take this. Take this. Take this. All right. Let's not stalemate though, guys. I was a bit close to a stalemate there. And there we have Jamie in the corner. Oh, wow. What a thriller, guys. What a thriller. So that's Baron Wuffet. I'm sorry that game maybe wasn't as good as some of my other battle battles, but, you know, we're going to take them all on. And by the time we get to Mr. Bill Gates, you know, it might start getting a little bit harder. And hopefully we get some good games later on. Like and subscribe if you want to see more bot battles. I cover all the bots pretty much. I'll see you next time. Cheers.